On the designer home screen, you can see active or published questionnaires. These are available in the mobile app and drafts. To keep things organized, you can place questionnaires into folders. Let's create a new questionnaire template. Simply click the new questionnaire button to start the wizard that guides you through the process. You can start from scratch with a blank template. You can import questions from a specially formatted Excel file, or even scan and extract questions from a PDF or scanned image. The Resco Template Library is another option. It offers a wealth of ready-made questionnaires that you can download for free and adapt to match your needs. But let's start from scratch this time. Enter a name for your questionnaire. In this example, it's a vehicle damage assessment scenario. Scoring allows you to assign a score to each answer. Depending on the total score, you can quickly evaluate how a questionnaire was answered. In this example, let's keep it off. The settings on the next step are not interesting in demo scenarios, but they have a significant impact for large-scale deployments. Let's go with the defaults for now, but consider studying the implications of these settings before going into production. Let's skip additional settings and start adding content to the questionnaire. Click the placeholder icon to add a logo image. Next, let's add our first question group. It's a good practice to place questions in groups to keep things organized. Enter a name and add the first question, covering the vehicle's condition. Click the plus button to add a single choice question for the fuel level. Add some options. Our second question will be the mileage. You can answer that by entering a whole number. To save time, let's take a look at snippets. Snippets are a collection of questions and groups that you can reuse for common question blocks in various questionnaires. We have some snippets ready, so let's add a damage assessment snippet. As you can see, we added a second group with four questions to our questionnaire. On the right, you can see the type of question or component, for example, a yes or no question, multiple choice, or so on. The three round icons in each question tell us whether a question is enabled, visible, or mandatory. The green color of the eye icon indicates that there's a smart rule set up for that question. Click it to see the rule. The question is visible for the inspector only if the previous question is set to the value scratch. Let's see this in action. Save all changes and click the form button to preview the questionnaire. Fill in some random answers. The business logic is tied to the question, type of damage. When set to the value scratch, a new question appears. All right, let's close the preview and add one more snippet to our questionnaire. Signatures. Resco Inspections supports various forms of signatures, including legally binding signatures by DocuSign. The questionnaire is ready. Save all changes and return to the questionnaire list. There's one more step before you can test the questionnaire in the mobile app. In a production environment, one would probably want to stage the template making it available for test users. However, in this case, we can simply publish it, making it available for all users.